Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I'm just gonna sit here and do my makeup and I bought something new that I wanted to share with you. So if you want to see what that is and what I create, just keep on watching. <laughs> So today is a kind of a blah day because it's raining and it's crappy weather and my leg is acting up so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sit here for but I'm going to try and make the best of it. So I'm not sure if I want to do just a regular eye look because I wanted to do something bright. But it is kind of crappy out, and I don't really feel in the mood to do something right. Which is, I was going to use this palette, but I think I'm going to use... So, I have put something up higher. I think I'm going to use this palette. Haven't used it in a while, and it has bright colors in here. Well... You know what? I think I'm going to use both of these palettes. This is the So Jaded palette from ColourPop. And then this is the Revolution Forever Flawless palette from um, Revolution. And I'm going to go from the inner corner out. So what I want to use... First off, let me make sure I have my colors picked. Okay, so I think I want to go in with this shadow right here, which is called Period. Period? Can't really... I'm going to do this. I have to use my little mirror because I can't really see okay so I'm going to just take this one pretty much put it in my inner corner fill it up Okay, next I think I'm going to use, um, I think I want to use this shadow right here and put that right in the middle. I don't know if you're going to be able to like really see it though. Okay, yeah, you can. I'm just going to blend those two colors together. So has anybody else, not to be nosy, but has anybody else got their stimulus check? I'm still waiting on mine. And like every time I go to check like the status of it, it doesn't give me any kind of information, but the same information that I said before, which is like not available at the time. So... And they were supposed to send, start sending out the second batch, like the second round, on the 24th. And it's the 24th. So, I don't know what is going on, but like, I need that check. There's a girl in my class that doesn't think that people would need this check. And, like, everybody has their own opinion, but I think people need the check. But that's just me. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this shadow right here. It's going to be different, but I don't really care. I want to be different. So I'm going to just go in with that shadow, and then I'm going to pretty much reveal what it is that I bought that I want to review and I have a feeling like you guys are going to know what it is wow 
Wow, these shadows are like amazing. Just bring that up a little bit. And then coming down here to blend these two together. Wow, I just realized this looks like the Irish flag. Isn't it? Wait, Ireland? The Ireland flag? I just realized that. But hey, I always wanted to go there, so maybe this is a sign that I'll be going there one day. I've, I said to myself that when I graduate with my master's, I'm going to treat myself to go to Ireland. That's on my bucket list. I did this project when I was in um, high school, my freshman year. I had like the best history teacher that a girl can ask for. Like, well, a student can ask for. She was amazing. Like, I forget her name, though, because it's been years. And she um, moved to a different school um, the, the year, the next, the following year. So I don't, I didn't get to really, like, um, get to know her. But she is an amazing teacher. And ever since I did that project... I just want to visit Ireland so bad. Like, I want to visit so bad. It's on my bucket list. So, for my future husband, it'd be nice if he could take me there. All right, so I'm going to just do the other eye really quick. And then, yeah. But, yeah, I want to go there. Like, this is, like, on my bucket list. There's a lot of things that I want to do, but... You need money for that. And now with whole this whole COVID crap, can't really go anywhere without like apparently having documentation that you got the uh, vaccine. And not for nothing, but I'm not getting that vaccine. So, no thank you. I'm good. I'll wait until this all blows over to go. So, yeah. Um, I want to go there. I want to actually backpack around Europe, but I don't want to go by myself because I've, I've been told that backpacking around Europe is kind of dangerous, but, um, I want to go anyway. I want to go ziplining too. Has anybody been ziplining yet? I'm pretty sure you guys have, but I want to go in Puerto Rico. I want to go zip lining in Puerto Rico. I don't know if there's a place there. I'm pretty sure there is, but I want to go zip lining in Puerto Rico. Sorry if you hear the vacuum. My dad decides to vacuum at this time of the day. Everybody upstairs decides to make noise when they don't need to. But yeah, so I want to go zip lining. Um, I, I want to do certain things, but like... I wanted to go bungee jumping. That was on my bucket list too. But so Yeah, that may not happen. Oh, I shouldn't have even said my weakness. Okay. So I need this. I'm all like trying to use this mirror and I got so used to using this now that it's like this one doesn't help me at all. Oh, I also want to go to Disney World. I know that sounds weird, but I never been to Disney World. I always wanted to go when I was a kid, but we weren't fortunate enough to be able to go. So I wasn't able to go, and I really want to go. Um, I've always wanted to go there, but I was never, again, able to. But I heard that, like, as you get older, it's not as appealing anymore. But I don't know how true that is. Not really sure how true that is. So, but I know I want to go to like Cape Cod. I want to go um, to see the Harry Potter park. 
I want to go there, like, really bad. But it's, like, apparently very expensive, too. So, I don't know. It's going to have to be when I have money rolling in, like, a rich person. And I ain't rich, so I don't know when that will happen. So, okay, I'm just going to go back into the this shadow right here. And I'm just going to blend these two shadows together. Just enough. And then take this brush. And then go like this. To blend it together. I'm just going to take this and melt there just a little bit. It's just a little bit. Oh, I like this look. I went in here blinded. I did not know what I was going to be doing. But it, it came out good. I like it. So let me just finish this off. I'm going to just wipe this and then put my mascara on and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to be right back because... I got a new product, so I just wanted to share it with you guys, but one sec. Okay, so I wanted to review the, I wanted to review the KVD, um, Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm that everybody was raving about on TikTok, and let me just tell you, y'all need to stop raving about shit on TikTok because things get sold out like that. So I don't even know if this is my shade or not. Stop doing that, please. Um, oh, by the way, I put lashes on that were... F these are from the Red Cherry Lash Collection. I got them on Amazon, like, years ago. Like, I want to say, like, three to four years ago. And I just completely forgot about them because they're, like, put in the back of my drawers. And I actually just... They were full lashes, and I cut them to make, like, the half lashes, and I'm kind of liking that technique now. It just, like, makes your eyes look more... But, yeah, and then I try to do, like, a wing liner. It was horrible, but I just, I let it go. So, all right, I'm going to use this, but I'm going to do that little technique that, um... that everybody did on um, TikTok. So I'm just, I know I just did this wrong, but I like to spray my face instead of doing it the opposite way. So I'm gonna take my uh, Tula Skincare um, Primer. This is what this looks like. This is actually a really nice primer. I really do like it. Um, so I'm just gonna, it's like a gel-like consistency and I'm just gonna put it on my hands to warm it up and just wipe all over my face okay let me put it away okay let me just clean my hands off um and now I'm just gonna kind of like set it by using my um all nighter setting spray. And then you want to let this dry. Oh my god, it's funny because I wasn't going to get anything from today's um, 21 Day Beauty. And then I saw this girl on TikTok that like, I watched to see what I should get and she was like yeah you should get this I'm like fuck so then I end up spending money I need to stop because I don't have my um my stimulus check yet and that's what I'm depending on right now this girl on here got this um this foundation thing 
And I want to, I didn't even get to like finish watching her stuff because I got tired and I went to sleep. And I want to see how it reacts to her face because she's oily. And like, I think it also just depends on where you live in the state, whether or not something like foundation is going to work for you. Because if you are oily and you're in a hot state, uh... I'm pretty sure you're going to start, like, basically sweating it out. So you got to also keep that in mind. But I want to see how it reacted to her. So, all right, I'm going to take this out. If I can open it. Got it. The packaging is really cute. I've seen it in a lot of things. This is what it looks like. So they used... all right so with one of the things that I got from the 21 day is the it cosmetic um foundation brushes because I wanted to try them and I wanted to see how I would like it so I'm just gonna use it now so I'll just remind you that this is what I got when I go to do my review. I didn't want to do like the um, other thing that I got because it's like something major. This is always on sale on their stuff. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to take this. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Okay, so that was pretty hard. But oh my goodness, the coverage is great. Oh my goodness, like look at this. Wow. Oh, I love this. A lot goes a long way. I'm going to... Just finish. I'm gonna finish my face. Oh, I might have matched. Alright, so I don't know if I actually do like this because as I'm going to my forehead, I see that it's starting to get a little patchy on my forehead. I don't know if that has to do, you see like all this right here, like I don't know if that has to do with like the brush or whatever, but... I can't really, I'm dragging it because there's a lot. It's full coverage, definitely, but I don't think it's going to go with my skin. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of patch. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to try and do it with a beauty blender too. So I'm going to just... I'm going to take it with my brush. 
can swipe there, swipe there, and I'm going to try and do it with my Beauty Blender and see if that makes a difference. I don't know how I feel about it. Because it's still a little patchy on my forehead. I'm just going to pat it around here. I must say though, I think I did pick the right shade. But I don't know. So I'm just going to finish this side with a brush. And I still had some on my brush so I don't know like it's definitely full coverage it does get where you want it to but I'm going to try and do this with Let me see if I can do it with my beauty blender. It definitely covers. I I definitely see that. It definitely covers your everything. Okay. So I'm just going to basically do the rest of my face off camera and I'll be back and just tell you my thoughts, my finished thoughts, and then see how everything performs with it. Okay, so this is the completed look. Alright, so all I did was basically repeat it, repeated everything that is at the top, at the bottom, and... Um, I used the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics things that I've been using and I um, set my under eyes with the Derma Blend and I used my Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I really kind of don't like this. I think it's kind of like, I feel like I have a pound of makeup on. Like, I do not wear foundation like that. As you guys know, I don't really like foundation unless like I'm really like kind of going out out and not even like not even with that though sometimes I don't even wear foundation to even go out like I look fine without foundation and just my eye makeup and everything like that but I do not like this um this it's really patchy around my nose I don't know if you guys can see that but it's really patchy right around here um it's patchy around right here see all this that's all patchy and i went over that already it looks patchy right here like it's breaking up i don't like this foundation at all yeah and i also set my face with the all nighter spray and I feel like I have a pound of makeup on. I, I, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody, especially if you have dry, patchy skin, because I've, it's just gonna, it's gonna hold on to all of it. It's going to, like, it's gonna stay right where those are. It doesn't really hide anything. So my honest opinion is I do not understand why this shit went viral. Like it did cover, but as time went on, it started to separate. So now it's like really starting to separate here. And I honestly don't think it was because of my primers because I used with my CC cream and it did not spread like separate anything. So... Um, I mean, overall, on camera, on camera, it looks like it's fully coverage, like covered, but 
I feel like I have a pound of makeup on. I, do, I don't like it. Um, so I probably will be returning this because this was not... I, I just don't like it. I... It was the right shade, which I was really surprised about. I really did a good job with picking my shade. I'm glad that I did because then I was able to review this for you. But I don't think, even if it didn't work with like only oil skin, I really think it doesn't even work for with the dry skin either. Like I am not a fan of this one. But I've heard that there's other, um, other ones like like cream you know what I mean I know that there's other cream foundations out there I've heard that there's some that are good but I don't know where from but I think for now on honestly I am not going to be purchasing a lot of crap that people make like viral on tiktok because they did the same thing with the sky high mascara and that should stop working with my lashes within a month like, it stopped working with my lashes. And I think you're supposed to change your mascara, I think, every six months. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you're supposed to replace your mascara every three months. And this mascara didn't stop working for me after a month. So I don't think I'm going to be going around getting half the shit that people say on TikTok because I've been disappointed twice. So... I don't know. I don't think this was all the hype. So I completely forgot to let you guys know what shade I got, which was medium 042. But yeah, this is the completed look. I do like the way my eyeshadow came out. Like I think it kind of came out really nice, but I don't think the mess like the um the lashes work with this look, but I don't know, you let me know. Um but yeah. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe and click the notification button down next to it to get all my future uploads. And if you did like it, please share it and um, like it. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time. Bye!